Hey, what's happening? My name is Kevin Gates, and these are my top five lessons for self-improvement. And right now you tuned into The Fatal. I approve this message. You vote for me. Number five is being honest with yourself. The key to happiness is holding yourself accountable for everything that goes on within your control. Whenever you're being honest with yourself, you focus on existing. You're no longer the center of attention or the conductor of the train. You're now, you have become the couch. You have put yourself in the place of an observer. And a lot of times when you're the conductor of the train, you can't see what's going on on the caboose. You know what the fuck to do. You need to do it. The answer lies within, not externally. Do it. Number four is knowing what you want. In order to get what you want, you have to know what you want. You have to discipline yourself and align yourself to achieve these goals. Why accept failure when success is free? That's my focus. So me being goal oriented, I'm going to align myself and put myself in situations that are productive and not counterproductive toward me reaching my goal, whatever it is. Number three is knowing who you are. The people around you cannot dictate your feelings. You have to know who you are, and I know who I am. So I don't want to go and be at a club full of people dancing, jumping around, all that. That's not what I am. I like to go to the bookstore, give me a nice book. I know who I am. I'm not afraid to be who I am. If you're a person and you don't like who you are, like me, I was a fat slob. I did not like having breasts. That means I need to do something about it. Because talking and complaining about it is not going to get it fixed. All you have to do, if you don't know who you are, here's a great way to find out. Go somewhere by yourself and think about who you are as a person. Think about the things that make you feel good. Think about the things that make you happy. Think about the things that make you sad. Think about the things you love. Think about the things you hate. You are getting to know yourself. I've been to who I was. It's just that my goals have changed and I want to be a sex symbol. T-W-S-G, the world's sexiest gangster magazine. <sighs> That's what I want. Number two, belief in self. Number two was one of the hardest for me. So many people had told me so many negative things about myself till I started to begin to believe those things. I started with small improvements. My belief in myself and my capabilities began to strengthen. I was a fat slob. I couldn't run, so I had to start walking. I said, hold on, I'm getting good with walking. I had to start a slow jog, then a fast jog. Now I'm full sprints. I couldn't do one pull up. Now I'm doing pull ups. You know what I'm saying? I believe in myself. And now, it's nothing in the world that I feel like I can't do. You know, $40 million condo in Manhattan, I'll have that in no time. Yeah, big general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number one, belief in God or a higher being or belief in a creator. For me, my method of choice or institution of belief would be Islam. And when I say belief in God. I'm talking about that positive energy, that creative force that puts great people together. I meet positive people all the time that don't subscribe to a religion. They believe in existing. They believe in the all. Like, they just believe in it. Like, all is one and one is all. Like, when you go in nature, everything coexists without interference. It may look wild, but it's so organized. We as humans, sometimes we get outside of that. We get outside of existing and becoming better people. And we start trying to get better things. And it's cool to have things, but when you have things, things end up having you. But when you have yourself, oh my God, it's a beautiful situation.